I'm allergic to wool. This entire gown is wool, so I had to line everything because I'm actually allergic to wool. <laughs> Please introduce yourself. Okay, I'm Alex Moore, and I am a yarn cosplayer, and I also own an Etsy shop called More Warmth, which is a play on my last name, More, and then More Warmth. Are you the only yarn cosplayer in the world? There are actually a growing community of us. I've been meeting them at different conventions around the world, but what I've noticed is I'm like the only crazy person who makes everything out of yarn. Like every single detail of a costume. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back to the beginning of when you learned to knit and crochet. Okay, I learned to knit in elementary school and I learned to crochet in college because I wanted to make stuffed animals and toys. Okay, and so crocheting is better for that? In my opinion, I like crocheting more for that mm -hmm. and I like knitting more for clothes. Mm -hmm. Um, and I definitely use both interchangeably in my costumes. Like when you're approaching the project, you kind of think about what fabric will one make over the other? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so wait. So what were you crocheting and knitting before you came to the cosplay world? I mean, I can tell you're passionate about that, but I, wanna, <laughs> I want a little of background. Of course, of course. So I um, used to knit scarves and blankets. I would crochet pokeballs. Little Pokemon, dragons, like just like that. It, you know, I was like one of the people who would knit for fun, teach my friends, gift gifts to my family every year mm -hmm. on their birthdays and Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I got a full time job a couple of years ago, I was like, I have all this free time. What do you do with it? What do you mean you had free time? Because you were out of school. Yeah, and I was school out of college. felt like un all encompassing. I triple majored in college, oh, so I was like insanely busy. <laughs> And I had like jobs and stuff, so I was like so busy in college and even in high school that I didn't, you know, like you'd do your homework, you'd go to bed, you'd get up, you'd repeat. Yeah, like, um, yeah. And like you'd knit every once in a while, but you didn't have time. Yeah. All of a sudden, I was working nine to five and I was like, well, what do you do with all this time? Yeah. Um, and I was cosplaying at the point. I used to sew my costumes. Okay. I do know how to sew. I have a sewing machine in my apartment. Uh -huh. It now is gathering lots of dust. Right. Um, so... That was like, I think three and a half years ago maybe, and I decided that it was my five year anniversary of cosplaying, so I would remake my first cosplay ever out of yarn. Okay, tell us about cosplay for those of us who don't know. So cosplay is considered costume play. Okay. Um, you dress up as a character and you play act as them. Mm -hmm. So you're not just like running around as this character. You should interact with other people as that person, because there's people oh. who come up to you and um, they idolize your character and they're so excited and you need to respond to that passion and that excitement. Oh, so it's not just like Halloween where you just kind of throw on a costume and you're still yourself. Not at all. It's I've totally tried, different. Yeah, it's like you embody who that person is. So if you were Wonder Woman, you'd be like energetic and high spirited and passionate and all about justice. Yeah. Um, even in the way like I walk, I try and like walk more proudly and mm -hmm. upright and Fierce. Now, do people who do cosplay have acting backgrounds? Uh, I think some people do, but some people just get into it because they want uh, to become a part of a community mm -hmm. and they're somewhat lonely and it, this is like an accepting crowd of people. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Like, when did it first come into your existence? Because I've only heard about it from... So I'm really into Halloween, mm -hmm. and so when I'm looking for the detailed pieces of costumes, which I know is totally you, <laughs> um, I will find things and they're, they're labeled cosplay. Yes. And so I was like, I'm not sure what that means. Of course. Um, and so when did you first learn about it? So I didn't learn about it until I went to college, mm -hmm. which is really late in some people's cosplay games. Okay. Um, I grew up in a very small village outside of Albany. Uh -huh. Like it's called a village. <laughs> it's not a town, it's not a city, it's a village. Uh -huh. um, like less than 2,000 people and like we didn't, like I was one of the only people into anime at all, like mm. Japanese cartoons. Mm -hmm. um, so when I went to college people were talking about conventions and someone had mentioned well you know we're really close to New York you could always go to New York Comic Con. So my first con was New York Comic Con mm -hmm. which is humongous and vastly different and not normal for first con it's goers not. at all, no. It's like um, the it's like the ex most extra con you could have? It's one of the two largest in the entire country. Okay, wow. 
Yeah. That was your first one. That was my first one. And it was my only one for five years. Yeah. Like I just went there once a year. I made three costumes. I would go for three or four days. Oh, so you make yeah. three costumes every for every weekend? Sometimes, Because yeah. you change for every day. Yeah. Now I have enough in my repertoire that I choose different ones on different days and I'll make one new one to premiere at a convention. Whoa! Um, but yeah, I used to make like three. I would sew three in a weekend. And oh I'm always gosh. finishing it at the last minute. You know, like someone's yes. sewing a part on while I'm like running onto yeah. the subway. I think yeah. I would like Comic-Con. It was, it's a blast. Um, I have a ton of fun every year. I still go to Comic-Con. Okay, now Comic-Con, because that's, that's, those are the two words, Comic-Con. Yes. So does it have to be a character from a comic book? What are the rules? <laughs> there are no rules in cosplay. If you cosplay from comic book type genres, Marvel, DC, um, TV shows, you're gonna be more recognized at a comic book convention Got it. than if you go to an anime convention and you wear those characters. Many people will know who you are, but it's not as popular as wearing like Sailor Moon or a Mario or um, a Pokemon trainer, like those types of outfits mm. that are in that genre. Because there are conventions for each genre. Now, when you are planning your outfit, are you, what are you thinking about? Are you thinking, I want to be recognized as much as possible, I want to have the best outfit, I want to, what, what are your sort of criteria for when you're thinking about it and planning it out? I want to match as perfectly as I possibly can to the character. So whichever character, doesn't matter what it is, mm -hmm. you just want all those details to be there. As possible as I can. Yeah. I try and go as perfect as possible. Yeah. I can relate to you. <laughs> I'll tell you two, two, so I really like Halloween, like I said, but mm -hmm. there's been a couple that I really committed to, and one was Lucille Ball, Okay. and I wanted to be that, did you know who that is? Wow. <laughs> this is good. Okay, so okay. she's on this sitcom called I Love Lucy. Okay, I've heard So it's that. black and white, so I even considered, like, maybe doing, like, gray like, makeup. Yep. Do people ever do that at Comic-Con? Mm -hmm. They do. Okay, anyway, but I was really, I really wanted to be exactly this one scene, because she has this one episode that she's really, um, that's really kind of famous. It's when she is doing a commercial for a, a vitamin called Vitamina Vegemin. Okay. And she keeps taking a swig of it in the commercial and it's making her drunk because it has like alcohol in it or something. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I like took screenshots and I made sure that the dress, like I had someone commission, I commissioned someone to make it. Okay. So I made sure the dress was exactly it and the prop and like the hat. And I even like overdo my lips so that my makeup looked like hers yeah. and I practiced saying it. So I totally understand, I think, but I've only done this at Halloween. Yeah, so that's how I do cosplay. Many people do casual cosplays. They wear <clears throat> nerdy t-shirts, like it runs the whole spectrum. Mm -hmm. But for me, I will watch, you know, an episode with that character in it a million times. I'll look at the art for it. I'll look at, you know, stills. Yeah. I'll, like gather all, all the, the images. Screenshot. Yeah, like yeah. everything. I'll start sketching. I'm not a great sketcher, but I'll sketch out each piece and yeah. I'll try and plan. Um, and now that I knit them, it takes so much more time. Than sewing. Than sewing, yeah. I used to be able to sew a costume in like a weekend or two. Yeah. And that was it. And I'd be like, look, I'm done. Yeah. Um, now it takes me sometimes months. Yeah. Um, the fastest one I've ever finished was in 11 days. And the longest one I've ever done has been over 700 hours of labor, and she's not done. So you you time it? Well, I watch TV. <laughs> so you know so how I many episodes. So I can like episodes. calculate how many episodes, yeah. Oh, so I can good. average it, or I know that like I took a three hour trip to visit my family. And worked on it the whole time. And worked on it the whole time. So I'll like average. I round down for sure. Yeah. But um, I know if I just sat there and knitted, I'd be faster, yeah. but then I'd be bored. Now, so. which is faster, crochet or knitting? I'm faster at knitting. Really? I am. I learned knitting first and I'm faster at knitting. I'm okay. more comfortable with it. I don't need to look at my knitting. I need to glance oh, at my crochet. Okay. Now, when before you were doing, because we have tons of show and tell and I'm dying to get to it, <laughs> but before you were doing the crochet and the knitting, mm -hmm. what did you do? How did you handle your wigs for cosplay? Did you just buy a wig? Yeah, I bought them from like Chinese websites, Amazon. Yeah. And I styled them myself. Yeah. And I still own a bunch of them. They all sit on a shelf looking at me all forlorn because I don't wear any of them anymore. Yeah. But now she makes her wigs out of yarn. I do. Okay, so which one do you want to show us first? Um, she said she's willing to try them on, oh. but it is 
a blizzard outside and it feels cold in here. I don't <laughs> want to make her do that. I might still try them on. Okay. We'll see. Um, I would like to show you uh, the wedding gown. Okay, first. wedding gown. Yeah. Okay, tell us about the character. Um, so the character is from Sailor Moon. Mm -hmm. And it's, what is that, a comic book? It's an anime character from Japan. Okay. Um, she's a very well-known cartoon from the 90s, mm -hmm. and it's been remastered and has been re coming out recently. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people will recognize her in the upcoming Olympics, because she's one of the mascots for the Olympics. Oh. Are the Olympics going to be in Japan? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't the know. The Summer Olympics. I'm totally um, not up on my Olympic news. <laughs> okay, yeah. cool. So, so she's going to be like a mascot? That, yeah, when they oh. announced it two years ago, oh. <laughs> um, they the like closing ceremonies had the like a uh, handoff to Japan oh. and the f there's like five icons that came on and they're all like Japanese pop culture oh, cool. anime-esque characters. Oh cool, all right. So. Now, but doesn't she, don't you have another Sailor Moon outfit? I have four. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah. so you love Sailor Moon. Um, I did it when I started. I chose to do a Sailor Moon character because she's iconic and she's strong and she's very influential in the culture that I'm a part of. Mm -hmm. And then I really enjoyed being her and mm -hmm. cosplaying as her, so I was like, oh, I'll just do more Sailor Moon. Because mm -hmm. she's really fun mm -hmm. to be around. To so be. this outfit is what? Um, this is Sailor Moon when she is like 100, 200 years in the future. It's oh. like Crystal Tokyo is what it's called. Okay. Yeah. So um, she's and she gets like, married. She gets married to the love of interest in the anime. Okay. And um, there's flash forwards in the anime. Okay. Um, so this is her in that section of the series. Okay. Um, so, so should we start with the wig? So yeah. So oh her hair gosh. turns pure white. Okay. This so is how? The wig. There's a hat under here. Okay. Wait. So how do you approach making this? Like. You said you sketched, but what else? Like, how do you problem solve? <laughs> so, um, she has two, like, giant buns mm -hmm. for hair. Yeah. And, like, that's something that everyone struggles with, with wigs for Sailor Moon, regardless of yarn or not. Yeah. So I stuffed, I, like, crocheted loose balls, and I stuffed them and then sewed them on top. Okay. Um, and then wrapped them. And then wrapped them in yarn, yeah. So the entire, it's a hat under here, yeah. and then the bangs, I wanted them to look fluffy, so I, when I put the wig on, I actually fold the bangs over. And so then they look like in. poofy, yeah. Um, and she has a beautiful tiara, okay, this... which was really hard to conceptualize, so I actually used oh um, thread for the gemstone, because I really wanted middle. it to look uh, like a gemstone. It does, because it, so it it's is... It's four strands of sewing thread. Yeah, I and it's um, sparkly. Yep. I couldn't think of the word. Mm -hmm. And it feels like you used Mod Podge or something on it, too. No, I used uh, cardboard inside. Oh, inside. So it's just pulled tight. Yeah. <clears throat> it took me longer to make the gem than I think it did to make the entire rest of the tiara. I was like, this is taking forever. Oh, my forever. gosh. It's amazing. So. Okay, so then wearing it as a hat makes mm -hmm. it more stable. It just stays on I think on it's really head. comfortable. Yeah. Um, wigs, like when you buy wigs, yeah, the hair is very long. Um, and I always store it in braids because I don't want the hair to tangle because oh, it's loose. So you do unbraid this when you wear Every it? Every time, yeah. Got it. Um, That's so smart. But I think that as a hat, it's so comfortable and it's so easy to transport and I don't have to like worry as much. Yes. When you buy like store-bought wigs. wigs, you know, you'd style it for hours and then it would get destroyed. And, or, and it's so uncomfortable. It's, it's like so, so itchy. tight on your head. I yeah. know. Everyone's like, oh, um, what's under there? And I'm like, pop off the hat. Like, it's a hat. And everyone's like, you can't take off your hair. It'll take you forever to put it back on. And I'm like, nope, it's just a hat. Just pop it back on. So, yeah. Yeah, I made a crochet hat like this with Cabbage Patch hair. Mm -hmm. It was fun. Yeah, it's really fun. And my, my daughter, or my sister's daughter, is totally bald, and she's past two. Okay. I mean, she has a little tiny bit of hair, but just nice. not that much yet. And so she has a little hat that she wears with braids. Yes, out of yarn. I got so the cute. idea from um, a charity group in Alaska, mm -hmm. the Magic Yarn Project. Mm -hmm. They make wigs and donate them to young people with cancer. Okay. Um, so I like read through all their work and I was like, oh, I should volunteer to like give them wigs. The closest chapter office to us is like Ohio. And I was like, that's not happening anytime yeah. soon. Yeah. But it inspired me because they have like all the normal characters, Belle and Ariel. Yeah, I think I've seen that website. Yeah, which is really cool, but I want to do like crazy anime. Cosplay. Yeah, so it was inspiring and it, it led me to this. And did, so did you look at tutorials to figure out the wigs or was it just trial and error? It was trial and error. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, this wig probably only took me two hours though. That's crazy! Some of them are really fast, some of them are slower. Like if I'm doing guy, guy hair and it's yeah. got like chunks of stylized hair, I like knit the chunks or crochet the chunks of hair and then sew them onto oh, a hat. Wow. So that takes a little longer. Mm -hmm. This is literally just tying a center. In, like, and then I, it... Yeah, a center and then I just open it. So I do three rows mm -hmm. and then I open it and I hook it through the edges. Amazing. And then I just hook it back up and that's it. So it's a lot faster this way. Yeah. And um, do you get a lot of your yarn, um, do you go to like Michael's? Yeah, I worked they have, for Michael's for yeah. a few years. Because they have a lot so. of these like little specialty... Like this... This is discontinued. Oh, okay. This, but this, like this sparkly in the, the wig, sparkly, I feel yeah. like. They, they had it, it was a baby yeah. yarn. And I like how you did different, different I want to colors. Hold my hair, yeah. Because yeah, she has like, yeah. I don't know if you can see on the video, but there's like white, cream, and a sparkle strand. Yeah, there's four strands. There's two oh, four. whites, a cream, and a sparkle <clears throat> strand. Yeah, looks good. Because I wanted to give it body. If you yeah. use one color, it looks very flat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a little bit dead. Mm hmm. So, mm -hmm. Um, Michaels has a their own brand mm. of one of the like basic acrylics it's mm -hmm. next to the karen simply sauce mm -hmm. um she knows because she works I, yeah <laughs> well a little bit too well versed in michael's <laughs> um and i use those because it has a sheen to it yeah so i'll use the karen simply sauce because i almost exclusively crochet all my hat caps in karen simply mm -hmm. sauce because it's more stretchy yeah. it's got more give yeah um and I'll, but I'll use like that shiny to give it like more volume and life too. Yeah, it's so great. Okay, so what about the rest of the costume? Okay, so the rest of the costume, um, the part that I, I really want to show you guys so is excited. the dress itself. Um, so this is a wedding gown. Um, I tried to look up patterns. I always try to look up patterns for my costumes. Yes. And there is one on inter... Inter... Interweave? Uh -huh. Interweave had one posted many years ago. Um, and that's like, I couldn't find the magazine anywhere. Someone finally helped me find it on Ravelry somewhere. Um, and then I proceeded to not follow the instructions at all. <laughs> so this is the top and it's Yeah, so sweet. it's a knitted skirt. Okay, so let's um, get the skirt. So the whole skirt is knitted. Um, and then I crocheted oh a beaded border at the bottom to There's, hold it down. Yeah, oh good. Yeah. There's because little beads it, on here. Yeah. Um, and it, uh, it gets bigger every section. Tier. I doubled it. Every yeah. tier is doubled. So you just made that up? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amazing. And it's got beautiful flow when I It stay. does. Yeah. I can tell. Yeah. And, and then I crocheted this. the bodice separately. Um, so this is all hand crocheted. It was a bottom level and then on top is all these individual pieces that were sewn down. These? So, yeah. Every, all the gold is sewn on top of it. Um, and then this piece here yeah. is actually to tuck into uh, so tuck the strapless part that I sewed. Because it's itchy. I'm allergic to wool. This entire gown is wool, so I had to line everything because I'm actually allergic to wool. <laughs> so I use it in my costuming because it's gorgeous and this looks so elegant. It does. Um, but if I wore this for an entire day in some conventions, I wore this one day for like 12, 13 hours. And what happened? I mean, I took allergy medicine and I and I lined everything. Yeah, because so she has all I these, made, like, um, what are they called? Petticoats. I made petticoats, yeah. I sewed the, <clears throat> a bodice with a corset lining inside and then a whole skirt Alex. set. Um, specifically because I was allergic to this costume. Most of my yarn costumes, I just plop them on and that's it. Yeah. But this one, I was like, I'm allergic, what do I do? So what um, happens when, do you get a rash? I get, I break out in hives. Yeah, and I have trouble breathing and stuff. So it's fine if I take allergy medicine and if I line it. But Dedication. It's, time, it's beautiful. It's I couldn't so help myself. Beautiful. Yeah. So this um has like hook and eyes to yeah. put it on, okay. and then I have someone. I tuck this in yeah. around the top of it, and someone else hooks me in. And there's so actually um, butterfly wings that go behind, but I didn't bring those in the blizzard. Are those made of yarn? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're okay. like a wire set, and then. Um, did, lacy wing. So you crocheted those? They were knitted. I crocheted a different bow for a different version of Sailor Moon. Um, I actually posted it last night on my Instagram. Oh, I did see that. Um, that was made for a different version of Sailor Moon, which you can wear with this, and I have done that just okay. to change it up because it's easier to deal with. That one was lace crocheted by hand, and I was like, what am I getting myself into? Because it's a bow that starts at your butt and goes to the floor. Yeah. And I wear heeled boots, so it's not like it goes to my floor, it no. goes three inches beyond yeah. my floor. 
So I was like, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> I've of course done crazy things right You're after that. You're so, so dedicated. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna put a picture of her in this full costume. <laughs> Yeah, and then this is one of the Sailor Moon props. And is that what um, you hold when you're wearing the you wedding can, dress? I hold, usually hold a staff version. Oh, I've seen like that in the picture. Like a giant scepter. Yeah. I have different ones, but I figured this one is an example of yeah. what I can do. Yeah, because it's we're not going to bring that on the yeah. same way. But it's an entire, um, Look at that. entirely crocheted. I crochet all of my Look at the jewels. scepters and, and things like that. So is this me metal or is this a specialty it's, yarn again? It's, it's not. It's not um, yarn. Like, it's not yarn. It's, it's like needlepoint thread. Yeah, it's like, um, what's it called? Macrame. Macrame cord. Yeah. Is how I order it online. And then, is this just stuffed with polyfill? And like a piece of wire. That's it. And this is a dowel. So, yeah. Sometimes I use PVC pipe. I try and use like whatever I have around. Yeah, totally. Um, because that. no one's going to see the inside. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But what I tell judges, because I do compete in all of these, I, oh. I forgot to mention that. Oh. I compete in all of my costumes. Um, and what I tell the judges is imagine that you are going to make an entire costume and then you're going to cover it in yarn. So like when I make a prop, I have to build the entire prop as you would normally build First. a prop. And then you have to take the time to cover every yeah. piece of yarn. It's like yarn bombing. It is yarn. I figure it's yarn bombing on my body. That's yeah. what I'm doing. Totally. Um, so, okay, yeah. so what's this one? Is this the Zelda? Yeah, this is Zelda. So I so, played Zelda when I was in third grade. So that, Zelda's the only video game I've beaten without assistance I from my say, siblings. I don't think I got very far. So <laughs> that's why I love Zelda. Um, <laughs> my first cosplay a few years ago out of yarn was, was Link from Legend of Zelda. Okay. And I did the Master Sword and the Shield and that was a ton of fun. So then I was like, well, if I'm going to do a Link, I need to have a Zelda to Totally. Um, so, okay, so these are the of gloves. course, Zelda has... This is Zelda from the Twilight Princess series, okay. and she has this like crazy intricate embroidery details on top, and I don't know how to embroider, mm. but nor do I know how to do any yeah, sort do. of color work type stuff, <laughs> right? And intarsia, so, so I learned how to do it for this costume. I okay. had never done it before. Oh um, my gosh! And the first part I actually did to test out if I could actually do it for this costume yeah. is her sash. Oh my goodness! She has this like intricate sash. <gasps> Um, I'm putting it in front of your face because that's no, where it's fine. focusing. Yeah, yeah. You're like, why do you keep cutting at my face? <laughs> um, and the sash is five different colors changing back and forth, which I know is not typical to the technique, but like, oh I needed it to look like this. So it came out beautifully, but the yarn is carried throughout the back of it. Oh my goodness. Um, so you wear this around your wa yeah, waist? Yeah, it hangs, this hangs off my waist. Oh, the whole thing. I see. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Like that whole part. <gasps> look at it's that like part. supposed to be bejeweled um it's so architectural it's so like, i can just see you to... like trying to figure it out like okay what it yeah, it's like, like physics it is it's really it's a lot of math it, right yes. it's all about math yes oh, so I, I learned how to chart for this too i of course drew all these charts oh to figure out how to carry gosh. the patterns i can just see you like gathering all the images <laughs> on the computer coloring and boxes oh my gosh That's and is there is there what's in here is this phone it's a piece of uh, it's actually a box of tea, like a tea it's a box. box of tea, like like the cardboard box for yeah, tea. It's yeah, it's very um sturdy. Cause I wanted it to be a little bit flexible. Yeah, so, so it was that like, it would move with my body. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. And, this, and then oh. she has um, oh yeah, she these. has armored shoulder pads. Oh, you can I put these on? Uh huh. You can. Like just drop over your head. Yeah. Oh Aren't they awesome? Yes. <laughs> Um, if I want to secure them for the day, I actually snap these around the straps There's of the dress. There's little secret snaps. Yeah. And it's all um, foam from Michael's, like a dollar a sheet thick foam. Yes. Mm -hmm. Covered in yarn. Um, so I made like yarn sandwiches to go around it all, and then I crocheted all the details on top of them. Yeah, I can see that. Which let's, took forever. Oh my gosh. Let me see. Let's see that. Yeah. So. You, I can see why this takes a lot longer than sewing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I have a lot of cosplay yarn friends now, and they make costumes much quicker, but they aren't to the level, like from far away, mine look like fabric. They do. That's like, and that's, that's what right. I want to go for. That's right. Like, uh, it's a look, trick. Theirs are very cool, They look, but they look like yarn. But hers are better. <laughs> but they look like yarn. Okay, okay. so this So dress. next is the dress. Okay. Um, the bodice is crocheted. Maybe the bodice. Okay, and so turn it around the back. Look at the back. This is the back. <gasps> Cool. Look at these little X's. Oh, yeah, and it's six or seven panels, crocheted yeah. pieces that I sewed together. Okay. 
because then if I ever gain weight or anything, I can like unsew it yeah. and change it out. Um, um, I know someone who was doing a fitting. Mm -hmm. she, was, she was trying to knit to someone else's body so she couldn't try it on as she went and she did a similar technique where she could like panel it. Yeah. yeah anyway. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I knitted a whole gown and yeah, when you get to the bottom. This is all this part. Yeah, when you get to the <gasps> bottom, it's knitted in the round. Um, when you get to the bottom, there's this gorgeous like six paneled embroidery that carries around. The yarn is carried completely through the bottom. Oh my um, and I actually... It's heavy. It's really heavy. Like it's got a lot of weight to it. Oh and when goodness. I was knitting it, um, I actually shattered my interchangeable knitting needles. How? The weight of this dress is too weighty. No. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna it was 1 a.m. and I had to wear it for Comic-Con at 9 in the morning. <laughs> And I, like, it was snapped. the night before. Yeah, I wasn't. I never done on time. Oh my goodness! So, yeah, this it was is gorgeous. It was. It was a very interesting experience. I was like, what yeah, just what happened did you to do? me? Um, I cried hysterically because <laughs> stitches fell off the needle. Yeah, of course. Um, like it went back like forty stitches. And I was like, what do I do? And um, my brother like took my knitting away from me and was like, you need to go like catch yourself your breath. And then we picked up all the stitches with like double points yeah. just to make sure we caught everything. Yeah, and yeah, then I yeah. went to sleep. Like secured them, yeah. yeah. I went to sleep and then I continued finishing it off with um, size sevens because I was knitting on size sixes. Yeah, so you just, yeah. So I just finished oh it, but I was almost done. I was literally here. You had like, like I had like two rows left, and I was like, no. That is a first. That is yeah, so it's heavy. Never hap that's never happened to me before. Now how? Now you've shown us two white things. Yeah. So how do you? Do you just not worry about it when you're at Comic Con? Like it's all gonna be fine. Um, Zelda has. I've never had to wash her, mm -hmm. and I think it's just the way like she falls. Mm -hmm. um, like the bottom is pilling, but like other but than that, I've yeah. never had a problem. Serenity, I have to wash because she gets really dirty. I also only wear her either if I can change at the convention center or if I'm staying in a hotel attached and I don't have to go outside. Because mm. she she'll get so sweaty. She would get so gross. Um, I have washed her once. Mm -hmm. The problem is that it's wool and it will change, so I have to re-block it <sighs> when you wash it. Um, and like this dress is massive yeah so I actually block it by magnetizing it to my bathtub like I'll hang it off I'll like soak it in the bathroom yeah. I'll like roll it to dry it a little bit and then I'll like put it on hangers from the shower C curtain hole. Yeah. Hole. yeah and then I'll use like ceramic magnets around the bathtub as I straighten out the skirt so it's not like perfect but it works um, there are some videos somewhere far along ago when that I was making it on my Instagram somewhere. Um, it's really funny though, like to have to yeah. block this crazy thing. So I'm like, I hope I never get it dirty again. Totally. Because it takes forever. Yeah. And no one can use the bathroom. Yeah. It's, that's it. Like you can't shower, I'm sorry. And it takes about a day or To more. dry. Yeah. Okay, let's look at Zelda's wig. Oh yeah. Zelda's she hair. A wig stand. So I did because she's so pretty. Okay, look at this. Um, so this hair has three pieces of um, jewelry parts to it. It has yeah. a tiara, and every leaf was crocheted individually and then yeah. sewn together. Okay, look at these leaves. Because um, I wanted it to really mm -hmm. like flex and move. And mm -hmm. then in the, oh, back, in the back, it has a clasp that holds her hair. It serves no purpose in this wig, but you know it looks yeah. pretty. Yeah. Um, and then there's actually this like braid hairband piece which is wow. very intricate for yeah. no purpose yeah. at all hey look at um, that and the funny thing about this hair is it's to me it's so clearly yarn but yeah. whenever i wear it people come up to me and they ask how i styled my hair that way wow. and i'm like this is not my hair this is yarn and they are fully convinced and i think it's because of all the different strands of colors I yes use. yeah um, because it's, uh, it's three different modeling colors, or yeah. four different colors again. But also, to your point, your whole picture is so convincing. It's almost like a trick to the eye. That's, yeah. You know, so everyone's like buying into the whole thing. And they're, 
that's their headspace at Comic Con. It sounds like that's true. That's true. You know, the whispers that normally follow me. Yeah, my are. friends are always like they're talking about you, and I'm just like I'm ignoring them because it's usually like people are like, oh my god, that's a cool Zelda, or that's a cool Sailor Moon, or that's a cool Wonder Woman, or whatever character I'm wearing. Yeah. Um, and then they like, oh wait, that's yarn. Like it's always a double take. It's yeah. never the first impression, which is honestly what I'm going for. I yeah. want you to think it's impressive first, and then realize that it's not just impressive, but it's impressive because it's yarn as yeah. well. Second. So it's working. It is. It is working for oh sure. My gosh, you must have the best time at Comic Con. <laughs> I have a lot of fun. Okay, so let's okay, do. So other than Zelda, one more. Woman. This is just off the chain. Yeah, so some people may have seen this at Vogue Knitting Live. Oh yeah, talk about Vogue Knitting Live before we show it. Did they um, invite you to come and show? No, so I'm actually a member of the New York City Crochet Guild. Okay. And we were talking about how do we show knitters what yes. crochet can do. Yes. Um, and I and I told them, like, you know, if anyone's going to ask me, I'm going to tell them I prefer knitting. Like, no offense <laughs> to crocheting. I love the New York City Crochet Guild. Yeah. They're a wonderful community to me. Yeah. They have accepted me with open arms. Um, but uh, we were talking and we were like, what can we show to them? Yeah. So I said, you know, I could bring a costume. Yeah. Um, so I brought the dress form and the costume and people just had such a great response. And yeah. normally I knit and crochet my costumes. Yeah. Like I use a seamless process, you know, Zelda had the bodice crocheted and then the skirt was knitted. Yeah. Uh, Wonder Woman's the only one that's exclusively crocheted. Yeah. Um, except for the sword blade, everything is made out of crochet because I wanted it to look armored and reinforced and like totally. really cool. Okay, um, here's the shield, yeah. which I mean, it's so beautiful. So the shield is just cardboard over an embroidery hoop. That's so it great. I didn't realize you even an embroidery hoop this big. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's <laughs> the shield. Um, this is her armband. Okay. To go around Wait, does that arm. go here? Yeah, it goes right there. Okay. So my only one side? Only one side. Yeah, armband. Um, and then there's... So the this sword. is the only knitted part. That's the only knitted part. The sword. And the arm... Yeah. And, that, the, and then these are the... the arm braces. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, and, and then here. there's also like shoe guards, shin guards oh, and shoe pieces, that's which right. I actually put on top of wedge shoes oh. that I take on and off because I wear those wedge shoes regularly. Right. So they're just like safety pinned on, but no one realizes, no one cares. Yeah, so. Who cares? Yeah. Okay, here is and the then dress. this is the dress. <gasps> and it just drops over my head. I just like wear, wear the dress. It's so beautiful. Yeah. It's very Are you so bright. proud of this? I am. Um, I made her entire outfit in 11 days. Oh my goodness. And then I made the short sword and shield a couple months later in three days. And I was like, how is this possible? <laughs> Like, oh. And you just improvised that. this. Yeah. I looked at I looked at it, the costume, and I was like, how would you do this? I'm definitely not as good at crocheting as I am at knitting. Um, but I think it came oh out rather my well. Goodness. It's so beautiful. And you did this overlay afterwards? On top. Yeah, on top. This what I'm talking about are these black stripes. Yeah, the like spider lines. Yeah. But her bodice has like, like a lot of cosplayers, I was looking at how they do it and they'll make it in pieces and then they'll like put it all on top of a reinforced <coughs> bodice that mm -hmm. they wear. And I was like, I don't have time for that. Like, could I make chunks? Yes, yeah. I'm not doing that. So now, that's how I decided. Do you use some fashion tape? Nope. You just trust that it's gonna mm -hmm. stay on. Yep. There's a, there's a lot of trust involved in this. I like fashion tape. I, <laughs> I like do that too, better. but it, it like doesn't always hold it. This That's dress right. is extremely it's, heavy. It's actually very heavy. Yeah. I it's love like it. a no. couple pounds at least. Oh my gosh. So I You're do wear so like smart. shorts, but that's about it. Yeah, just in yeah. case of any, you know, any action as Wonder yeah. Woman. I know, right? Just in case, in case I would like run down and kick some butt. Just in case. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what is the next event you have coming up and what do you have planned? Um, I'm going to Costume Con 37. Okay, well, how it's is that in, different from Comic Con? I've never been to Costume Con, mm -hmm. um, but it sounds like it's a, a lot of workshops and like learning mm. with other crafters and cosplayers and sewers and people oh, in the industry, cool. not just like going and like attending panels on things that you love. Um, well, like nerdy things that you love. <laughs> Did you say so, nerdy things? Yeah, nerdy things. Will people be in costume there or that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so, not everyone, but some people will. 
Okay. Um, so I'm bringing Zelda because I think people will love the details mm -hmm. of her. But I'm also working on a new one. Okay, can you reveal it? I can. Okay, what is it? Um, I'm working on Arwen from Lord of the Rings. Oh. Yeah. So I've been working with a lot of velvet lately. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm making a blue velvet gown and crochet. a gray knitted. Knitted. And a gray cloak crochet. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to try and crochet slash knit the beaded ribboning that goes around her dress bodice. Is she the Elfin Queen princess? Yeah, the Elfin. The one who ends up marrying the king? In Lord of the Rings, yeah. yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> in case you haven't watched it. My Not bad. Intentional. <laughs> My bad. Um, but yeah. but Liv, like, Liv Tyler plays her, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I can picture that. Yeah. And then... I don't know how I'm doing the hair. Because her hair is oh. like a beautiful cascade of waves. So my current idea is um, using alpaca yarn. Oh. And like, if you curl yarn and you spray it with um, fabric stiffener, it like holds yes. the, and you un, you undo the like curls, it'll like hold a loose curl. Like hairspray. That's what I'm hoping to do. I have some of that stiff and quick. Yeah, it's that's a very I unfortunate name, I think, for that product for some reason. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, so that's my current idea. Wow. But we'll see. Otherwise, I'll just use a lot of yarn and it'll give it volume, which will make it look more yeah, flowy. That sounds like a challenge. Mm -hmm. Now, would you ever, for the sake of the whole look, go back to the real hair wigs or does it have to all be yarn? I think I would yeah. go back. Because um, I think people would accept that. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Like, I understand the need to be... Um, all yarn. Yeah, I totally but, get it. But, I mean, I used to love sewing my costumes, mm -hmm. so I feel like I'm not against going back. I'm just currently on this all yarn kick. Totally. Um, and in the future, maybe you do both. It, it, yeah, that's what I was thinking when I have more spare time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what I currently have. Yeah. Um, but but this will be my 10th costume, so I feel like it should be all yarn. I it's do too. The 10th one. The 10th anniversary. Yeah. I totally get yeah. that. Unless I like finish another one between now and then, which yeah. isn't likely, but I have other ones in progress. Yeah. So. Do you do any other knitting or crochet that's not this right now? Yeah. Um, so I have an Etsy shop. Oh yeah. Talk so, about the Etsy shop. Um, well, we sell a lot of like cute little toys and stuffed animals and things like from books that oh, aren't, cute. don't have a lot of character mm -hmm. stuff out there. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'll make parts of the items, or I'll make some of the items, and my sister will finish the items. It's my sister and, and I who oh. have the shop. Oh, cool. Um, so I'm always trying to make stuff for that as well. Mm -hmm. And we're thinking about starting to vendor at some conventions. Oh, fun. Because why not, right? Yeah. So on the Etsy shop, is it made to order, or you just fill it up with what you already have? We either fill it up with what we have, or it's made to order. Mm -hmm. It depends on the item. I see. Yeah. And um, so I can put a link to that underneath this video. Oh yeah, you can. So people can yeah, find it. Sure. And also your Instagram. Yes. And are you active on Ravelry or other places? We well, have a blog. I have a blog, which I don't update very often. Okay. I'm very active on Instagram. Okay, okay. Um, I am on Ravelry, mm -hmm. but I don't do much on Ravelry. Yeah, because, because you're just I making make, stuff up. <laughs> exactly. So I'll look around for inspiration, yeah. and I'll bookmark things, and I'm like, if I have time, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. But... Now I just make it all up. And I do sometimes follow patterns for like toys and gifts, but yeah. that's about it. Does your sister also do this? And crochet, yes. But does she do the cosplay? No. no. She, co she cosplays, but she does it out of sewing mm -hmm. and um, she's great at found items where you'll like find parts of, co of pieces um, and you'll like chop them together into something oh, really cool. cool. Like refashioning for cosplay. Yeah, yeah, she's really good at that. Oh, wow. Um, so she's going to Costume Con with me. That's oh, that is, why that's gonna be so fun. I'm going. She was like, let's go together. Mm -hmm. That's so. going to be so fun. Well, I am so happy that you checked out in the snow. And I know everyone's <laughs> totally geeking out right now seeing all this. I will do a little um, slideshow at the end here, just showing a couple. Do you mind? Sure. I'll take some Not photos enough. from her Instagram. Yeah. And then people can start following you because she just makes the most amazing things, <laughs> as you can see. And I think what I, I find most inspiring is the looking at it and then making it happen mm -hmm. like that skill is it's hard to teach and talk about don't you think i, I think it's hard it's i just, try and talk about how to do yarn cosplaying with people yeah um and i've done like a panel or two at conventions about uh -huh. it and i'm like oh i started by replacing certain items that should be replaced like a scarf here a stuffed animal mm. there um but then i started trying to do it full costumes and that's really hard to like conceptualized. So I'm really grateful I know how to sew because yeah. I think about oh, like, oh, yes. how would I sew this? 
Yeah, like the piece of fabric that would be that you would cut out of mm -hmm. the pattern, you shape with your yarn. Yeah, except you have no, you don't want to have like the extra seams and things. That's right. Because that's too much bulk. That's right. Yeah. So it's it's been really interesting to to take each one on and like really try and think it through. Mm -hmm. I and then I go yarn shopping. I like to color yes, match. Yes. So I'd be like, do I have it in my stash? And then if I don't have it in my stash, where can I find it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's another part of the hunt, Some huh? of it's hard, yeah. So I've recently been debating, should I get into dyeing? Mm. So yeah, we'll see. Let's just yeah. add another layer to this. I know, right? I think you need a museum. I would, I would like to exhibit this one day. Totally. Um, the guild asked me to have two costumes next year yeah. at their table for yeah. Vogue Knitting Live. All right. Well, so we'll you have see. a year. Yeah. Thank you so much. No, no. Thank you very much. And very we'll see you on the on the gram. Bye. Bye. Bye.